So with the Dragon Ball Super movies release date being set for January 19th, 2019, and with Dragon Ball Super going to be restarting at some point, with this I've started questioning how exactly the events of the movie is going to go, whether being a Dragon Ball Super movie is it actually going to tie into the main story of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Super, because we know that Dragon Ball Super is only on a hiatus as said by the ending of Dragon Ball Super and is going to set to continue at some point in the future. So that brings me to this small theory. What if Broly actually became a Z fighter as a result of the events in this movie? Now Broly has always been a legendary character that was able to surpass and keep up with the strength of the best of the best Saiyans that are Vegeta and Goku and Gohan countless countless times in all the different Broly movies. I think four different Broly movies that there were, I don't know, I lost count. So having him as a viable asset to work with them to take on any future threats, any future gods that may want to try to attack them, or to participate in any other big tournaments that they're going to have, like someone on Jiren level power, because so I think it was announced that Toriyama said that Broly was going to be on Jiren's level of power, which is absolutely insane to think about. In my eyes, I would really picture him to be someone like Shadow or Proto Man, someone that mostly does their own thing by themselves or with their own team, but is willing to come together and help them out in a fight or if a need for them to come together with to rise in general. This is because there are also so many characters that Broly is accompanied by, even a baby Saiyan that we don't know the identity of in the movie could be a child for all we know, meaning he would have a family and unable to reside with the rest of the Z fighters on Earth unless he took everyone with him, which in my personal opinion we don't need anymore of. We've had plenty of enemies, the villains become buddy buddy with Goku on Earth, Yeah, you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> oh, I'm lame, I know. But yeah, what I'm saying is he would be on their side, but he wouldn't like be with them all the time or live with them or reside with them or on their team he'll be with a different team but is willing to help them out when they need it you know another big reason why i think he'll become a z fighter is because from the way the movie is set up and the trailer played out it doesn't seem like the returning saiyans are bad guys or even evil it seems more like they're a lot more intelligent than the original saiyans are and it seems like the way it's set up from the trailer is that it's just going to be a sparring match between both goku vegeta and frieza and broly because you know since frieza's back he wants to try to take over the universe so he's going to attack broly but we know that vegeta and goku aren't in it to kill them right at least that's not the way it seems like. Plus, why would Akira Toriyama completely want to revamp an already established Dragon Ball character, even though he's not canon and not so influenced by him, just to end up killing him by the end of the movie, making him gone again? If he just wanted to make it canon, he could have just remade the old movie slightly, altering a bit by having it in his name branded, similar to how he made Battle of Gods and Resurrection F canon by making them arts and super. Another reason that I think Broly will become a Z fighter by the end of this movie is that he could also spur on the limit breaking power that both Goku and Vegeta showed in the tournament of power because they did lose that power but since Broly is going to be coming in he's going to be the reason why they bring it back and why they're able to permanently contain that power and grasp that power and add a brand new fresh element to the series a new ally a new member of the Z fighters a fresh training partner that can also tell Vegeta the whereabouts of the remaining Saiyans and maybe even tell him where his lost brother is. Of course the Saiyans could also turn out to be evil because the universe 7 ones were barbarians and not super nice guys like the universe 6 ones meaning they could be either evil or just super aggressive and but not evil evil people. With Frieza's influence having dissipated over the amount of years that it's been, they're no longer subject to his rule, meaning they're free to do their own thing, making new life for these surviving Saiyans. So what do you guys think? I want you guys to let me know in the comments below. Do you guys think that there's a possibility of Broly becoming a Z fighter by the end of this movie? Because I really do think if Toriyama was going to completely revamp the idea of Broly and bring him back, they wouldn't just bring him back just to kill him. I think that'd be kind of ridiculous, but that's just my opinion. If you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button for all different types of content, reviews, news, gameplay, streams, discussions, theories, all types of things. So I want to thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys.